Just to give you guys a warning for this, Chad, as much as I would love to talk to you guys for hours and hours, my stomach has been destroyed all day. So uh, I may, like, abruptly have to leave this conversation. <laughs> Yeah, Just, whatever you gotta oh my do. God. Don't shit your pants, don't throw up on them. <laughs> whatever you gotta do. I literally just had the same thing happen to me, so I, I understand. Man, our bodies are Cross such for your vulnerability. Dicks. Hey, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs>
It's like the way they clap on Drag Race. Yeah. <laughs> Got it now. Well, I would love to cut biting my nails loose because it is such a disgusting habit and painful at times, but I just can't get over it. Thad, what's something you would love to cut loose? Uh, Smoking so much weed. <laughs> I think it, it, it's how quickly I talk and what I remember. And I think I could be a lot smarter and intelligent even being if I stopped. But I also love it. So <laughs> so that's a battle. <laughs> yeah. Jamie, what about you? What would you love to cut loose? Uh, probably like the amount of candy that I can eat. It's pretty disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> How much have you eaten today? Just none yet. It's, I only woke up like 30 minutes ago. So, Annabelle, what about you? What would you love to cut loose from your life? What I've been cutting loose is just basically letting people try to tell me how to live my life and trusting that their decision is better than mine or like like they somehow know more. Literally, like none of us know what we're doing and I have to trust my gut more and like live my life for me, not for other people. And I think I've been doing that my whole life. And I've come to a point where I am done living my life for other people. And it's about me and what I want and what I want to do. And how do I make that happen? So I'm saying bye-bye to a lot of things this year and last year. That's definitely a good policy hello, to live by. You know, bye bye and hello. <laughs> and hello. <laughs> hello right back at you. Let's talk about this number one. <laughs> it is such an incredible smash. How was Cutting Loose born with all you guys? I made the beat a while ago. Bye, and then I sent it to Jamie and she made the production better. And then we did a session with Annabelle. And Annabelle is such a legendary, like, EDM vocalist like I was just listening to that song you had with the disciples last night and I was thinking of you so good um but I was lucky enough to get these two to work with me on it and that's how it became good now did you guys all know each other previously kind of yeah I had met Fab in the studio for the very first time and he was so sweet and cute like a little puppy <laughs> and um baby angel and then Jay Wara, like I met, I I always like followed you, like I followed your production, and I really loved your stuff. And then we met because we were opening Tucker together or something. Mm-hmm. We're I don't know what we were doing, but we were both playing in Washington D.C. Yeah, I think it was somewhere. Um, was it Oliver Heldens? I oh yeah, know. Oliver Heldens. Okay. Oliver Heldens. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's exactly what it was. <laughs> now, now, Thad, I know you mentioned that you started working on the beat a long time ago, but when did all of this come together that you guys all started working on it together? I don't even know. I met Jay, Jamie at Electric Forest. I think we chatted, and then maybe after that I sent it to her because I was like, I have some demos that you'd crush. Because I saw her set at E4 too. It was great. I love her music. So I was like, you should make this song a little bit better. I think that's probably what sparked me sending it to her. And then Annabelle and I had been writing in sessions. And the theme for the whole song, uh, I don't know, she came up with it. But <laughs> yeah. It was after Coachella, so it was yeah. like pretty much like a year ago. Because we were we had just gone to Coachella, and I was wanted to write about Sarah DeWarren was there, and she co-wrote the song. And we wrote about how when you're with your friends and some friends want to chill or whatever. And you're like, I just want to go and like run in the ground and be by myself and like find me where you find me. And so that's what the theme of the song is about. It's about being at Coachella and running through the grass and wanting to do your own thing. But it ended up being about like, there's a deeper meaning, obviously. Yeah. I was about to say, I totally misread the, the meaning of this song. I thought it was like, cutting somebody out of your life not running through the fields at Coachella by yourself well it's both it's both <laughs> <laughs> this might go down as one of the most awkward chats ever <laughs> now well, something... if this is just normal for us what if we're all just awkward and this is norm- <laughs> our normal caliber yeah. god help us when we finally all get into one room <laughs> Now, something I love to find out is how many different versions there are of a song from when you start working on it, all the tweaking that goes on to when you finally put it out. That do you know how many different V's there were on the final? Yeah, there's a bunch, dude. The first one I wrote was with this girl, Tiffany Day, like 
a, a while ago and she's a great vocalist too but i remember her verse for the song because she wanted to make it more like i don't even know what she wanted to make it like but she was she got on in the first third she says is i got a pretty big dick for a small girl and that's like the first take we had i was like i don't think this is like right for the beat. <laughs> so that was the first version and then the production changed a bunch when jamie got it and then it definitely got elevated a lot when Annabelle sang over it instead of my other friend. So probably like four or five or six different versions. I don't know. Oh, that's actually not bad. Like I was thinking you were going to say it was like V50 or 51 by the time it was done. At that point, you should just give up if you're on V50. <laughs> Start something yeah. new. Jamie, I always, I always talk to everybody about, you know, their process when they go through with producing stuff. Are you somebody that tweaks to the like umpteenth amount or... Do you get through it pretty quick and move on? Um, I think it just really depends. Sometimes I can write something in one day and it's like solid and that's that's what I run with. I'm in this place right now where I have like 30 versions of songs that have been going on for like a year plus and like that said, just shelf it or trash it. I don't know. I'm just like shelving a lot of things to make it through quick enough. And um, yeah, just depends. Sometimes I'll smoke a joint and I'll crush something. <laughs> That's Sometimes, so weird. Yeah. To me, like when I take a gummy or when I'm smoking, I slow down. Like, I don't know how you guys work so well. Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> I'm a side pothead as well. So. That's <laughs> incredible. Well, congratulations on this song being so successful. I'm so glad we could spend this time together celebrating Cutting Loose, going number one. Thad, Annabelle England, Jamie, thank you so much for your time with us on America's Dance 30. Thank you. Good times. Thank you. <laughs> thank Good you. For, thank you for sitting through the stomach issues, the latency, and everything that goes with it. <laughs> Best of luck to you today with that. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. Can, Can I, I give a shout out before you cut it? Absolutely. Shout out to my mom. I love you. Oh, shout out to Thad's mom. <laughs> shout out to Thad's mom. Absolutely. That's so sweet. <laughs>